Pisces here, love reading for April 28th through May 4th. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And since this is a love reading, I do recommend checking your Moon and Venus signs as well. Um, this isn't going to resonate with all of you as usual, so don't get pissed if it doesn't. Just check your other signs or check out another reader. Um, there's a ton of awesome ones. So... For the overall energy, I use the Magdalene Oracle. For my main deck, I use the Witch's Tarot. For my clarifiers, I use the Gilded. So here we go, guys. Are you ready? Your overall energy is family. All right. Um, and I do apologize that it is dark when I do these. It just helps me read. Um, I don't know. It's just better for me. I can connect better when it's dark and there's candles and when it's fucking bright as shit. I work in an office all day, so I really can't handle bright lights at home. So I do apologize that it's going to be hard for you to see, but I'll explain it all to you. Anyway, family, your overall energy. You were born into your family for a reason and a purpose, just as there is a reason and purpose for experiencing all you have experienced to date. Yet, like most of us, you probably believe the myth that all family members should get along and always be nice to one another. Other families always seem nicer. The truth is that every family experiences similar dynamics in one way or another. Your family is your greatest teacher. Every family member will hold at least one trait that you don't like, and you have at least one trait that each of your family members don't like. This, oh my goodness. Sorry guys, this fact sets the perfect environment for us to learn to love unconditionally. Later in life, you will discover that every perceived negative comes with a positive attached to it. True love often comes in ways and forms that we initially fail to recognize. Yet with the passing of time, you realize that beneath our individual facades, there is only love. Love comes in many forms and it may not always be kind. Reflect on this for it would help, it will help you let go of any resentment you have towards your family or a family member. All right, guys, so, hmm, strange one for a love reading. So are you having some family issues that are affecting your relationship? Is your family interfering in your relationship? Is your partner's family interfering? Um, or is your home life just dysfunctional right now? I'm not sure. We'll see. Your recent past, you have the Three of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, the Three of Pentacles is working together. Um, you know, working with other people to achieve a goal. Um, it's teamwork. So... I don't want to say that it was a third party situation, but it is possible. We'll see what else comes out when we clarify. Um, so three of pentacles, your recent past. Your present, guys, you have the shadow side, which is also the devil card. This is Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, don't have to be. But there's something in your current energy. And remember, this can go both ways. This can be you or the person that you're dealing with. There's something toxic, there's something not right, there's something unhealthy happening here. Um, again, I'll clarify to find out what it is, but you may just be having like some fear issues, or they are, or somebody's going through some shit. There's either toxic, toxic behavior happening in a situation that you're in love-wise, or around you, um, or somebody's engaging in some toxic behaviors, like, you know, like it could be addiction, it could just be whatever, codependency, anything. It could be anything that's toxic, right? Um, now, in your immediate future, though, guys, you have the Ten of Pentacles. This is a happy home life. This is not dysfunctional at all. Everything is well in the home, okay? So whatever is going on here, you do come out of it because this is, this is like everything that you want a home to be or a relationship right it's a hundred percent committed your potential obstacle you have strength this is leo energy so if there is an if, if there is an interfering family member they could be a leo don't have to be um but as an obstacle um for me if strength is your obstacle, you might not feel strong enough to handle a certain situation, or you might not feel confident enough, confident enough to handle a certain situation. Um, so, let's clarify. Let's clarify this shadow side for you. What is this toxic shit for Aquarius in the present? Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. That was way too many. I can't take them all. There's like six damn cards on my lap. 
All right, clarify the shadow side for Aquarius, please. Five of Swords, air energy. This is you as well as Gemini Libra. I'm pretty sure we can all tell what this is. It's conflict, right? It's petty conflict. There's some toxic shit. Um, you're probably dealing with someone that you guys just argue all the damn time and it's petty as fuck. Like just some back and forth bullshit like that doesn't even need to be argued about, right? Um, and it's, it's toxic. I mean, that's how people are that have toxic behavior patterns. You know, some people are like really fucking attracted to conflict. I find it disgusting. Um, but I've been with quite a few people that they just need conflict. If it's not there, they're going to fucking create it. Don't you worry. They will create it. Um, so you might be dealing with that person. If you are, man, get the fuck out of there. That shit, it's crazy making. All right. <laughs> okay. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Aquarius. Oh, guys. What the heck? You got strength reversed. Remember this came up as your obstacle? Um, so, I mean, you could definitely be dealing with a Leo, but you don't feel like you don't feel confident that you're going to have this this happy, stable, committed home relationship ever. Why? Because you have all this fucking shit right here going on. So why would you think that that, that was going to happen in your world? It makes sense. Just try to work on your confidence. Try to um, not let this bring you down. When you have somebody that is, you know, constantly arguing with you constantly criticizing obviously your self-esteem is going to drop it's going to ruin your confidence um you have to just not let it because that, that's when people act that way that's a problem with them it's not a problem with you unless you're the one doing it um which if you are then knock it the fuck off I mean well, I don't know what else to tell you but that's definitely something that lowers your self-esteem if you have somebody just trash talking you every day and putting you down and always wanting to fucking fight and you know just don't let them just know that the issue is with them and not with you don't let it bring you down don't let it make you think that you're not ever going to have this happy stable committed home or relationship because if that's what you want you'll get it all right okay um let's get you some advice guys oh that really flew out huh and again it was more than one i'm sorry try this again and you already have one advice card here I didn't tell you what it was yet because I like to pull the second one before I do the advice cards but it's a big one so <laughs> make some advice for Aquarius in love yeah all right okay so your first advice card is death Scorpio energy, but I don't really think that the signs are relevant in the advice position. If it means something to you, then it means something to you. Otherwise, it's an ending. It's a transformation. Your advice is to end something, right? This toxic bullshit in your present energy, this person that's always trying to fucking fight and criticize, and you need to end it, okay? You will have a functional relationship, a committed relationship in the future if that's what you want. You can always have anything that you want. Anybody can. Um, but you have to end this first. You're not going to get your confidence back if somebody's fucking putting you down all the time. You're just not, all right? You have to end that. When somebody is constantly arguing with you, it drains the fuck out of you. How are you supposed to manifest what you want in your life if you have no energy? You can't. It's impossible. So that's your advice. You have to end it. Um... Your other one that just came out with it is the Empress Reversed, all right? You might have to end something with a Taurus or Libra. That doesn't have to be their sign, though, but whoever you are ending it with, and it might be a marriage because the Empress can be a wife, and that doesn't mean that you have to be a man watching this. This could definitely be you. You could be the wife, right? You could, it doesn't matter. Um, 
but it might be an actual divorce. You might live with the person, you might have kids with the person, it might be something like that too. But anyway, this, this person is either really unstable or they're making you feel really unstable and it has you feeling really out of control. Um, damn guys, it sucks. I'm sorry. Um, what else do we want to clarify? All right, you know what? I'm going to grab this, grab my main deck here and clarify the five of swords so I can try to see what this conflict is about. I don't really think we need to clarify anymore. It's pretty straightforward, but we'll see. Okay, two of wands, reverse, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, it's, there might be conflict because somebody's having trouble making a decision or somebody made a wrong decision. Um, hmm. Either way, it's a crossroads. It's you're needing to pick your path and you're not you're just sitting there in this toxic fucking environment you're not ever going to get over here to your ten of pentacles if you don't get rid of this all right i mean there's not really anything else i can say to it guys that or say about it there's someone toxic that you're dealing with that you need to fucking leave and that's all there is to it and if this, is, if this isn't your reading, it's not your reading, right? Because this is really super straightforward. Um, you'll know if it's for you. There won't be a question. Like, there's somebody doing toxic shit, somebody putting you down, somebody making you feel like shit. You need to end it so you can get to your happy home. Um, all right? So, take care, guys. I hope it gets better for you. All right, see ya.